it was a lovely spring day at the family farm, and the sheep and lambs were grazing happily in the field. Beep, beep. Good morning, spring, hooted Tech on his horn as he happily drove out of the machine shed. Oh, what a beautiful morning, he said to himself. But Tech had another reason for being so happy that day, and he was in a hurry to find his friends. Mary Ann, where are you? called Tech, sticking his head into the hay shed. Then he thought Mary Ann wouldn't be inside on a day like this, so he reversed out of the hay shed and made his way over to the field below the house. And indeed, that's where Mary Ann was with her little ducklings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pretty little ducklings. Such beautiful ducklings, said Tech. Thank you very much, replied Mary Ann. Do you have names for all of them? asked Tech. Oh, yes. Elizabeth White. Ivan White, Ellen White, Lola White, Dylan White, and Carrie White. Well, they are all wonderful, just wonderful, said Tech, and off he drove to share news of the new ducklings with everyone at the family farm. Hilda, Hilda, have you heard the good news? Asked Tech. <clears throat> heard what? Uh, well, what did you say? Grunted Hilda. But before Tech had a chance to tell her, Hilda began to moan about a pain she had in her back. Tech, I've just got to lie down <clears throat> in the soft straw. <clears throat> oh, said Hilda. Relieved. I hope you feel better, Hilda, shouted Tech. But Hilda had already fallen asleep in the straw. Oh, well, never mind. She could hear about the little duckling some other time. And off Tech went to look for someone else he could share the news with. Hey, Sally! Mary Ann's eggs have hatched. Meh, meh. And tell me this, Tech. How many chicks did she have? Six, said Tech. Six little ducklings. Meh. Two lambs are more than enough for me, said Sally, as she wondered how Mary Ann would feed six little ducks. How on earth is she going to have enough milk for each of them? She asked worriedly. But ducks don't drink milk, said Tech. No milk for her babies? <laughs> Sally was surprised. Not at all. Mary Ann will teach them to drink water and eat snails and insects. <laughs> but six of them? All running around all over the place? Oh, I tired just thinking about it, fussed Sally. She was exhausted raising just two lambs. Bye, Sally, said Tech. I'm going to find Henry to tell him the good news, too. And off Tech went. Henry, shouted Tech. But Henry was very busy running around the field with his sheep. He was too far away to hear what Tech was saying. Galloping gaskets! Spring is such a busy time, observed Tech. Baby animals, chicks, and lambs were all over the place at the family farm. Roy 
boy spotted Tech as he arrived at the farmyard. Ah, Tech, have you seen Dell anywhere? No, I haven't, said Tech. Oh dear, said Roy. I was hoping she could help round up the sheep. Would you like me to help you? offered Tech. No, don't worry. I'll wait until later. Perhaps you'll turn up in a little bit, said Roy hopefully. Where are you going now? asked Tech. I need to take a look at Hilda. She's expecting piglets any minute. Galloping gaskets! That's why she was so uncomfortable when I saw her a minute ago, said Tech. Do you want to come with me to see her? asked Roy. Oh yes, please, if I may, Tech replied. I've only seen baby piglets once or twice. <laughs> When Tech and Roy arrived, Hilda was resting on her side, and there were one, two, three, four, five, six little piglets. Congratulations, Hilda, whispered Tech, but Hilda was too tired to reply. <laughs> Back at the farmyard, Tech and Roy decided to look for Dell again. Dell! <whistles> Roy whistled and called. But there was no sign of Dell anywhere. Where on earth had she gone? I know. I'll ask Molly, said Tech. Hmm, good idea, said Roy, and off Tech went. <laughs> He made his way to the garden. Then he noticed that Molly had a big belly. Molly, are you going to have a baby? Yes, I am, smiled Molly. Mary Ann just had some ducklings. Sally has two baby lambs. Hilda just had some piglets. And now you're going to have a baby too? Tech was amazed. Everyone at the family farm was having babies. But what would Molly have? A little brother for Katie? Or a little sister? I don't know, said Katie. But she was very excited about either one. And that was when Tech remembered about Dell. Have you seen Dell today? asked Tech. Hmm. She hadn't seen Dell that day either. Bye, Tech, said Katie, and off she went to the house to help her mother fold the clean clothes. Roy hadn't found Dell either, but he had to take care of sheep, Dell or no Dell. Tech, will you help me? Of course I will, said Tech who was really glad to help out, so off they went. Tech was very good at gathering sheep, and today he didn't have to sound his horn or anything. The sheep and lambs all went in the right direction. But where on earth was Dell? Roy was beginning to get worried about her by now. Perhaps Katie's seen her, said Tech. Perhaps, said Roy. They decided to ask her. But before they reached the house, Katie came rushing out to meet them. What's the matter, Katie? Mommy's tummy, the baby's on its way. And just as she said that, who should arrive but the midwife, the nurse who would help Molly give birth to her new baby. Roy rushed into the house to check on Molly. Do you want to play hide and seek, Katie? Asked Tech. Yes, please, said Katie. And while Tech shut his eyes and counted to 10, 
Katie looked for a place to hide. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Beep, beep. Tech hooted his horn. Beep, beep. He went to look for Katie. Where could she be hiding? Tech searched high and low in every nook and cranny. He was about to give up when he heard a noise coming from the tool shed. Ha ha! Beep beep! Now I've got you, Katie, he said as he moved towards the tool shed. But he was in for a surprise. It wasn't Katie. It was Dell. What are you doing in here, Dell? asked Tech. But before Dell could answer, Tech heard another noise. Puppies! You had puppies, said Tech. Yes, four of them. That's why I wasn't able to help Roy with the sheep today, Dell explained. Why are you hiding in here? asked Tech. So that I can feed my pups in peace and quiet, said Dell. Galloping gaskets, what a day, exclaimed Tech. And he thought that it was only Mary Ann who would have a new family today. Then he heard someone calling him. Tech, hurry, come on. Katie, said Tech, as he quickly drove out of the tool shed. Look, Tech, I've got a new little brother, said Katie. Wow, amazing. He is wonderful, said Tech. He certainly is, agreed Roy and Katie happily.